Hi, welcome to this thesis template and Microsoft Word for Mac tutorial. We have the thesis here and we're going to scroll down and check the headings first. Put your mouse on each of the headings and make sure the style is right at the top in the Styles tab. Heading 1, Heading 2 for the first subheading, and Heading 3 for the first second degree subheading. Let's take a look at this illustration. We're going to right click it and select insert caption. This is a figure so let's choose the right label and name it. Let's do the same thing with this photo. Right click, insert caption, figure and give it a name. Let's scroll down. Here we have a table. With tables you can't right click it to get the caption menu op to open. We have to select the entire table like this first and then right click and select insert caption. Let's choose the right label and then give it a name. The caption and the table should be on the same page, so let's move it down to the next page. Now we're going to update the table of figures at the bottom. Right click it and select update field. The table of figures is already in the template, but if you manage to somehow delete it by accident, I'm just going to show you how to make a new one. So let's delete this one. And then we can go to insert, index and tables, and make sure you're in the table of figures tab. And then select the right label, so figure for this one. And then press OK. And there we have our table of figures again. Let's do the same thing here for the tables. If you have appendices, you should write the title right here. The title style should be Lite Otsikko. And then let's update our table of appendices. The table of appendices should actually be on its own page. The section break is there like it's supposed to be. We can just press enter to move it down to the next page. Now that we moved the appendices down to where it's supposed to be, our header is actually incorrect. It says Appendix 1, even though that header should be on the actual appendix, not on the table of appendices. So let's open up the header by double-clicking it and delete that. And close the header. And then we're going to go to the actual Appendix 1 page and open the header there because it's most likely linked to the table of appendices page. So let's open the header and go to the header and footer tab and uncheck link to previous at the top. And now we can write appendix 1 here. Just use the tab to get it to, to the right side in the right upper corner. And then let's close this header and now it should look right. Let's scroll up to the table of contents. Right click it and update the field. We have a problem on page 10 it seems. The body text is showing up in the table of contents. So let's scroll down to page 10 and let's check what style the body text is. 
Click on the Home tab and place the cursor in the text. We can see that the heading style is Title, even though it should actually be Normal 1 with the line spacing 1. So let's highlight that and just change the heading style. And let's scroll back up to the table of contents and let's update it again and update the entire field and click OK. And now it looks right. At the end you should check if you have any extra spaces and delete those. On the abstract page, the keywords should be on row 54. On the layout tab, you can find a tool called line numbers. Select that and select restart each page. Select the keywords and drag it down to line 54. If you press enter to move it down, it will cause the contents below it to move as well as you can see here. By pressing enter we move the table of contents to the next page and we don't want to do that so let's press backspace and remove that extra, extra line. When you're finished remember to save your document. Good luck with your thesis!